please welcome Jackie Nespral of NBC Universal and the Honorable Daniela Levin Cava, Mayor of Miami Dade County. Great. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm so honored to be here at Concordia America Summit 2023, being held in Miami, my city, my university, University of Miami, and with my mayor, Daniela Levine Cava. It's great Thank to have you. you. I just so much, want to say a few words about you because when Miami Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava was elected into office in November of 2020, she made history as the first female mayor of the county. But for her, that was just another step in her 40 year career advocating for those in the community. Miami Dade is one of the most diverse counties in the country and is the gateway to the Americas with deep ties to Latin America. She told me yesterday when I interviewed her for International Women's Day that 70% of Miami residents are Spanish speaking. She is one of them, but she <laughs> not only speaks the language, she really walks the walk because she truly loves the culture. She lived in Brazil and Chile in her youth, which I didn't know, I discovered that yesterday. So on this Women's History Month, I present to you a woman not only breaking barriers, but making history, Mayor Daniela Lavincava. Thank you, Jackie, what a pleasure. <laughs> it's, it's great to be with a group of people who really care about solving problems, uh, global problems, and to be hosted here at our very own special University of Miami. Uh, I'm thrilled to learn about Concordia, I wanna do more. So as far as I can remember, and I was born and raised here in Miami, I always heard that Miami, Miami Dade was the gateway to the Americas. We are intertwined, not only culturally, but economically. So in that light, how has that relationship molded South Florida and Miami Dade in particular? We're so fortunate. We do live in a place that has attracted people from all over the world. And uh, the dynamism of our culture is very much a reflection of all of those different nationalities, religions, cultures. So I think as we've been discovered, or I say rediscovered uh, after the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, definitely people are coming here, not only for the weather and the beaches and the openness of our society, but because of that special uh, sauce, that secret sauce. So whether it's the food or the iconic architecture or the, uh, uh, just the, the very presence of neighborhoods of different nationalities and cultures, uh, truly we are the best place to live, work and play. Let's talk economically speaking, mm -hmm. because that relationship between Miami-Dade and Latin America and the Caribbean is very important economically speaking yes. for our economy here in South Florida. So can you tell us a little more about that? Well, we are considered the gateway to Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, and in many cases, we are actually the gateway for Europe and Africa and Asia to Latin America. So as I travel as mayor and trade discussions, everybody wants to be here because of the commerce that uh, really is here is the springboard. So whether it's the finance sector, uh, arts and culture, uh, healthcare, uh, academics, all of it leads to a very strong uh, Latin American connection. So um, it's, it's really essential that we double down on that relationship and I think that we, we have and so we are the great beneficiaries of that. We have a lot of communities across Miami-Dade County yes. um, that are primarily Hispanic when you talk about arts and culture, because we know that this community has grown leaps and bounds when it comes to arts and culture, how has that been impacted by the relationship between Latin America and the Caribbean? Well, you can go to a Dominican club, you can go to a Puerto Rican art exhibit, uh, you can go to uh, Argentinian steakhouse, you name it. Uh, and um, Peruvian, one of my favorites, but we have just so many enclaves as well as a mixture. And, and I think what's so very, to me the, the most important aspect of this is what a welcoming and affirming community we are. So all of that, uh, it's called a salad by the way, not a mixing, a uh, melting pot. So that's a, a previous uh, term that we have thought of when we've had waves of immigrants. But I heard this uh, and I have adopted it, that it's each unique aspect uh, contributing ingredient adds to the delicious flavor. 
So as you look forward, how do you believe that we can strengthen those ties, those relationships um, on our end and on their end? Yeah, so on the business side, we need to really not just have fun, but also make sure that we're supporting the economies of those nations. Uh, our trade routes, we've just been growing phenomenally at the airport and the seaport. We are now number one in international passengers uh, in Miami International Airport, number one for foreign trade uh, at the airport. Our seaport also has grown enormously. Not only our cruises coming back, but our cargo way, way up. So these are all ways that we serve. Also, we have a very robust consular core. Uh, and so that helps uh, with the building of foreign uh, relations. So I think it's, it's really incumbent upon us to always dar la bienvenida, <laughs> to, to really reflect um, th the fact that we are open for business and that we support those economies as well. And of course, we have people who are fleeing oppression from many of those countries and her coming here for freedom. And it's also important for us to be that place that welcomes with open arms those who are coming here out of um, financial or political desperation. And, um, and I think we're doing our part. You have been now a mayor for two years. Mm -hmm. She just announced her reelection campaign uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. So when you look back at these two years and you look at the next two years and possibly four years after that, what, what do you see that you can do as mayor of this county to really strengthen those ties once again? Yes. So I spend a lot of time in the international community. While county government does not make foreign policy, uh, we certainly reflect it. And uh, we do a lot actually to interface with, again, the Consular Corps, the White House, uh, State Department, Homeland Security. We're very, very actively engaged in all of those topics, again, helping to deal with some of the trouble issues, as well as making sure that we have uh, clear runways, pathways for everyone to engage here in this economy. So I'll be more active than ever on our bilateral chambers. Um, we'll be doing trade missions. Uh, we'll be uh, welcoming foreign dignitaries and uh, doubling down on visiting all of the great and diverse communities of Miami-Dade. Can you tell us some ab ab about the sister cities? So we have a sister cities program. It's very robust. And we also have a sister port agreement with many, many of our uh, countries. And uh, the, the port sister agreements uh, are, are expanding under the leadership of Heidi Webb, our port director, first woman port director, by the way. Uh, of course, I'm the first woman mayor, just saying, here in Women's History Month. Uh, the, um, the sister cities are under the jurisdiction of our commission. And we have a very active, in fact, uh, beefing up uh, the activity uh, to, to expand our relationships and actually not just be a name, but actually make the visits uh, to help us in the bilateral trade. Those social relationships are also important between Miami-Dade County and these other countries in Latin America and the, and the Caribbean. We all know the appeal of South Florida. Obviously, you're talking about sunshine and the climate and the and the beaches and, and tourism, which is so important here. How much of an impact is that for, for this community when you, when you look broader on that spectrum? Well, everyone wants to be here, have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> so I always ask how many are from here and then how many, in fact, I'll ask, how many of you are from South Florida? Uh-huh, how many of you want to be from South Florida? <laughs> All right, you see that? So I think uh, it speaks for itself. We have a natural draw. We do live in paradise. Uh, we do have challenges, and we want our newcomers to be part of stepping up and helping us to solve some of our big challenges. We've just launched the Miami-Dade Innovation Authority, a new nonprofit with funding from the Knight Foundation, Citadel, Ken Griffin, and Miami-Dade County to find emerging entrepreneurs, innovators who can help us solve some of our challenges like traffic or affordability issues for housing, sea level rise, climate change, things like that, and then we'll procure them at scale. So that's open. Anybody here have a good idea? We're open. Uh, so we, we are such, we are so blessed to have people coming here for a visit, for fun, and then, um, what is it, like uh, catching the bug Mm -hmm. and then wanting to stay, and we welcome you all.
There's also another conference here, Aspen Ideas, which you were a part of yes. as well. And climate issues, uh, they have been a, a big part of your, yes. not only campaign, but in your tenure here as mayor. How do you think that and the educational part of that, the awareness part of that, also trickles down to these other countries that are related with us? Yes. Well, we are talking a lot about how we support our Caribbean and Latin neighbors around some of the challenges of climate change and sea level rise. Uh, and uh, we had a recent conference on the Caribbean basin exactly on that topic. Uh, we were linked. Uh, first of all, we are the recipient of climate refugees uh, and of all kinds of refugees, but as well climate refugees. So we need to work together to shore up and, and solidify and, and uh, help everyone to learn how to prevent uh, some, some climate uh, challenges. But as well, it's a business opportunity. And so just to keep it in line with the mission of Concordia, there are market solutions to dealing with climate. And that was a big feature of the Aspen Climate Ideas event. Many, many private sector businesses talking about how they are contributing, many shifting their portfolio to sustainable energy or sustainable building. Um, many of these companies that are setting very aggressive goals, even ahead of um, uh, the, the Paris Climate Treaty and uh, how they're going to reduce their carbon or, or get to net zero aggressively. We heard General Motors is now going to get to net zero by 2025. Is that what they said? Isn't it 2023? Like okay, two so, years. <laughs> right. That's like in two years. So, you, you know, there are very aggressive uh, goals and ways that we need to work together uh, with the private sector to, to achieve this. And um, we cannot achieve it alone. We have to achieve it together. You mentioned um, we have people from all over the world that are moving every day to South Florida, to Miami-Dade County in particular. As, as I mentioned before, 70% Spanish speaking. So in, in those types of relationships of immigration, what has, uh, what has happened in that department and those relationships from those countries and people coming here to South Florida? Mm. Well, I, I think that, uh, again, we're so fortunate to have so many Latin and Brazil, don't forget Brazil, Portuguese. Uh, we've got uh, so many uh, coming and we're working more on ch teaching people to be truly bilingual uh, in their, their work, that's important, or trilingual, a growing Haitian American population. Uh, so, you know, I think we've always been trilingual for many, many years in Miami-Dade County government. We are conducting our workshops in three languages. We're doing a lot of outreach to the business community. We just launched a vendor academy to help uh, all of our businesses really learn how to do business with us. We have a small business enterprise office that works uh, very closely to support small businesses to be successful. Uh, in my administration, we started BizUp grants for small business success and um, the Immigration uh, Innovation Authority, which is new and exciting. So Strive 305 is a platform, it's multilingual to help our small businesses virtually and with coaching. So I think it's just, it's just who we are and uh, something that we, I personally, celebrate every day. Un mensaje en español para nuestros amigos aquí de Latinoamérica. Siempre queremos dar la bienvenida a los que están viajando o quieren hacer sus negocios acá y con mucho gusto vamos a ayudar en cualquier cosa que podamos. Gracias. Alcaldesa Daniela Lavín Cava. It's great to have a leader that truly understands the culture of, of and, and as I mentioned, not only talking the talk, but walking the walk and strengthening those ties now and in the future. Mayor, thank you so much. All right.